Good evening, everyone. Everyone gets a gold star for braving the Austin traffic. For <laughs> don't you? To be pro-life, you have to make a sacrifice, and that means Austin traffic. But we've got some very good legislators who are working on that. Right, guys and gals? Okay. Well, I want to give a, ask you to give a big round of applause for our president, Davida Steich. You know, she is a tremendous president of the 19 member board of directors, and I'm really grateful to them because they guide my staff and me in everything we do to accomplish our mission. If you're new to tonight's dinner, could I, if you've, ever been to, if you've never been to one of these before, can, can I ask you to raise your hand? Well, thank you so much for being here. Because we want to welcome you. Texas Alliance for Life is a statewide organization of people committed to protecting innocent human life from conception to natural death using peaceful legal means. We believe that all life is beautiful, all life is worth fighting for, and Texas Alliance for Life has been doing that for 29 years. In those 29 years, we've grown to become among the state's most respected pro-life advocacy organizations. And I look out at you all, this magnificent crowd, and I have only one word to say, awe. I am in awe of where Texas Alliance for Life and really the pro-life movement in Texas has come and where we are going, all because of our supporters. And not just financial supporters, but coming out to events, praying and supporting the entire pro-life movement in Central Texas and across Texas. There's a group of people I also want to recognize because they are hard at work tonight. You may not be seeing them, but they are spread among the crowd and, and out at the silent auction. They are the magici magicians behind the curtain, making everything possible at Texas Lions for Life. My staff, and please uh, just give me a moment to, to mention them and introduce them. Lance Peterson, our Director of Financial Development. Melissa Duncan, our Director of Communications. Jenny Andrews, our Public Policy Liaison. Anita Bray, Jenny, you have some friends here? <laughs> Anita Bray, our administrative assistant. Lisa Taylor, our silent auction coordinator. Solomon Schroeder, our da data entry uh, analyst. And last but never least, Deirdre Cooper, our public policy analyst. She is working from home tonight, uh, but that's how she does her job. Our TAL team is amazing, and tonight wouldn't be possible with e without each and every one of them. So you staff at Text Alliance for Life, I really want to thank you. Another group, another group that is the fuel of Texas Alliance for Life's machine, the members of the Leadership Circle. Leadership Circle, you donate between $1,200 and $10,000 or more per year. And this is the group that propels us and keeps us going. I want to salute each of our Leadership Circle members from every donor level. So, I hope you're not embarrassed, but I. Can I ask each Leadership Circle member to please stand and be recognized? Could you all stand? Thank you, because you make Texas Alliance for Life possible. We see you, we applaud you, and we appreciate you. Thank you so much. 2017 began with our, legislat our leg Texas legislature convening in a jam-packed session. As you know, they meet every two years. If you read the newspaper, go online, listen to talk radio, or watch the 10 o'clock news, or see Texas Lines for Life emails, you know the session began with one resounding word. What's that word? Controversy. 
From the beginning, we knew there were challenges. There was so much to accomplish, but as the, as the 140 days progressed, life issues triumphed, and the season ended with another sensational session. Then our governor, the very pro-life governor, Greg Abbott, called a special session. to accomplish more goals. At the end of the session, both regular and special, Texas made history. Texas proved, a truly, proved to truly be a state that fights and defends the defense of life, partnering with many pro-life organizations. Texas Lions for Life played a critical role in helping the legislature pass and the governor sign into law an astounding number of pro-life measures. Don't want to go into all of them, but let me just summarize. 10 pro-life bills, continued funding for alternatives to abortions, and continued defunding of Planned Parenthood. For example, the groundbreaking reporting bill by Senator Campbell and Representative Capriglione ensuring that complications occurring during abortions are reported accurately. Senate Bill 8, that shuts down Planned Parenthood's horrific trafficking of baby body parts in Texas. Thanks to the fearless leadership of authors, Representative Cindy Burkett, Senator Charles Schwartner, you all from Williamson County, that's your senator, with amendments by Representative Byron Cook and others, Texas stepped up in a grand way with a comprehensive bill that not only stops this grotesque practice, it also bans partial birth abortion, requires humane disposition of the bodies of babies who die from abortion procedures, and several other pro-life provisions. Amazingly, in this very tight budget year, we must thank our leaders charged with crafting the state's budget. And Texas has to pass a two-year budget when they meet. Many thanks to Representative John Zerwas and Senator Jane Nelson for, for putting life front and center in the budget. Thanks to their diligence, for the next two years, the Texas budget, as I said, continues to fund the highly effective Alternatives to Abortion program and continues to defund Planned Parenthood. And let me say, Seven years ago at this time, Planned Parenthood was getting $33 million per year of our tax dollars through the state government. Today, 90% of that has been taken away and given to much better organizations. And when Washington, that's Washington, D.C., not Washington on the Brazos, when Washington, D.C. gets its act together one day, they will. And they will ta allow Texas to take that last 10% away and give it to organizations who really are helping women. There's just, in fact, that bill, the Senate Bill 1, it was called, has many other strong pro-life provisions in the budget. So Austin is so much different from Washington. We're getting things done here. In 2007, Texas made history with many other pieces of legislation. Pro-life insurance reform, increased reporting of abortions on minor girls after abortions protecting women from forced abortions, especially victims of sex trafficking, and reforming DNR, do not resuscitate laws in Texas. We had a tremendous year. None of these would have been possible without the pro-life leaders in place at the Capitol. And I'm speaking of Governor, Rick, uh, Governor Greg Abbott, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, and Speaker Joe Strauss. Without all three of these, these bills would not have uh, been passed. They are the true defenders of life, and we are proud to strong, of their strong stand to protect life. Now, you're about to hear from our keynote speaker. I know your eyes are going to be open like ours were, more than ever perhaps, on exactly what can happen when government doesn't have the legislative leadership in place to protect and defend life like we do here in Texas. So we'd really appreciate our elected officials. 
Beginning tomorrow, Texas Alliance for Life embarks on a milestone, our 30th anniversary. And I believe, I believe that the state of Texas will ac accomplish more success than ever before. So I ask you to be part of something that is more noble and great and bigger than, than any, any of us. I'm talking about the pro-life movement in Texas. Life is special, life is precious because of who we are and what we hope to accomplish, life has hope. Thank you and onward to celebrating 30 years of changing hearts and saving lives together.